Leaks, rumors, more leaks, alleged leaks, speculation. This is that time if you are a part of the Call of Duty community. And uh, we've got more, guys. Welcome to the page, everybody. One thing that is not alleged, one thing you don't have to take with a grain of salt is support a creator code chaos all caps thank you to everybody on the screen uh, that is part of team chaos and using that code in the war zone or the black ops cold war item shop i truly truly appreciate you and if you continue to use it send me pics so i can showcase you guys as well today we are talking about yet another classic map that is allegedly coming to cod vanguard i'm going to give you guys my thoughts at the end of this because I have some thoughts. So the other day we talked about the Modern Warfare 2 ghost who is a leaker. He's a prominent leaker. He's been right a lot. If he says something, you at least need to turn your attention to it. Take it with a grain of salt, obviously, but it's worth listening to. And he said that we were going to be getting some classic maps in Call of Duty Vanguard. That's pretty cool. He talked about London Docks coming as a DLC offering in COD 2021. Vanguard, whatever the heck it's going to be called. Slipstream, I don't know. Now, he is also saying that we will be getting Terminal in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, this doesn't really make a lot of sense because the time era doesn't really compute, if it's what we think it is. COD Vanguard, end of World War II, into the Korean, Vietnam War, maybe, alternate reality. Let's just say... Uh, 1940 to 1960. That's my best guess of kind of a, a, a plot timeline. Now, campaign-wise, it could bounce back and forth. You could get yeah, stuff in the past, stuff in the future. Who knows? But that's just what I'm going to go with. And if that's the case, Terminal doesn't fit there. Terminal was more of an early 2000s modern airport type thing. But, of course, Call of Duty and Activision could take it and they could give us a remastered World War II vibe terminal so i guess it, it could be made to fit that's what he's saying and uh, we'll see we'll see i mean like i said ghost has been right on a lot of things and he's starting to put more and more out there and he says it was from an ex activision ambassador in their twitter bio that's been right on call of duty leaks in the past so we'll see not a big deal either way if it does or doesn't but my thoughts are I'm starting to get on the negative mindset end of maps coming back. Now, in the past, I've drank the Kool-Aid many, many times. I like seeing classic maps. You guys know I'm a classic nostalgia guy. A lot of the content that we put up on uh, the Facebook page and the YouTube page, it brings out the nostalgic feels for everybody. That's what people love about the ranking videos and the top tens and all that stuff, right? But I feel like we're getting at a point now where it's getting to be old. Do I get as excited to hear that Terminal's coming in COD Vanguard if it ends up being true? It could be a, a, a revamped World War II style? No, I don't. Three years ago, four years ago, Terminal's coming back. Woo! Firing range is coming back. All right. And now I'm just like, okay, I'd like to see more new maps, but all right. So you guys let me know what your thoughts are on that. That is the latest leak for COD Vanguard. Now understand, we're in July. We should be ramping up on uh, leaks, rumors, information coming out. The pipeline starting to get a little more full when it comes to Call of Duty. We honestly should be getting a teaser sometime. We need to know. We're in July. We're going to be in August soon, then September. We have heard reports that we wouldn't get anything until September, which I hope is not true. I'll keep you guys updated at all. As always, make sure you guys are following the page. I'll see you soon.